Good morning everyone. Today we will be doing a simple activity on fraction. So I have a fraction chart with these interlocking uh, pieces with me of different fractions here. So this is my one whole and this is like one by two. So we have two pieces, one by two, one by two. Like this I have uh, uh, like one by four, four one by fours and then similarly we go on for one by threes. And we'll be using these uh, to now explain the to show the children fractions and also if they can compare which one's greater, which one's wrong, uh, smaller. The first thing we'll do is we will be showing these fractions to the children after uh, we have already covered the concept. So we'll be showing these fractions to the children and ask them to first of all pick up which one's greater. So before even they see the pieces, they have to just do it. Now this also gives an idea to the teacher whether the concept of fraction has gone right in their mind or not. It gives them you know, a time to think and understand. So if a child who has not as such understood the uh, you know, fraction uh, concept and is just looking at it like a whole number, so we'll definitely compare the digits here uh, in a way that you will see that okay this is 3, this is 2, so uh, and a child who is not very clear with the fraction concept may choose 3 by 8, 3 upon 8 which is greater than uh, 2 by 3. So and then after that the teacher allows them to build these fractions using these uh, fraction interlocking uh, cues. So the child has all so many options here and he chooses, he tries to look for uh, a, 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 you know tar with uh, 8 as a denominator. So I have your, uh, where is this is 1, I look here. This is 1 by 10, this is 1 by 12, and there it go. So, so this is my, like I have 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 1 by 8. So now a child has to take out 3 1 by 8. So when he takes out 1 by 8, 1, this is now 2 by 8, this is not 3 by 8. So in a way, child is adding the fractions also in his mind, the unit fractions here. And now he has to build the fraction that is 3 by 8. So then he takes this 1 by 8 and then places this. Children really enjoy doing this. And then they will place this. And now a child is actually viewing how much is 3 upon 8 now. This begins when a teacher tells, okay, this is one whole and this is like 3 by 8. So that is important in the beginning of the class. And then the child places 1 by 8, uh, 3 by 8 over here. So some of them may be very sure that this is going to be more than the other fraction. And then we, uh, now the child has to look for a denominator 3 means a whole piece divided into 3 parts. So he looks at it, even if he doesn't read the child, if he has a concept and see, okay, this one is the one which has three parts, the whole is divided into three parts. So the child uh, will hold this and try to get two of this. So one and two. So this is one by three and then two by three. Makes a tar out of it, right? Place it like this and puts it in front of it. Right? There we go. Now a child is, can actually compare that three by eight is smaller than two by three to analyze which one's greater and also to understand the denominator concept of the fractions. Thank you.